from Crafty Kendra and today I'm going to do a craft room tour. What you're looking at now is my work desk and this is where I do all my videos. Right there you see my old style punches, some new stamp sets, my lamp, and then when you move over you see I have a little trash can there, a little jar to hold all my pens and highlighters and such, and then that blue basket holds a lot of the supplies that I use often. Okay. And then um, my desk has shelves on either side. And the one on the top here holds my Big Shot underneath there. The one underneath it holds current projects and stuff like that. On the other side, I have my trimmers and such, and then underneath that I have a ca case of baby wipes and my clear acrylic blocks. Alright, and um, above my work desk we have um, some mirrors, and above the mirrors are some shelves and they have some pictures of me and my friends, and then I have two baskets, one that holds my ribbon in it, and not all the ribbon comes out of the holes, just what I use a lot. Then I have a little jar that holds some random stamps, and then that basket has some random pieces of projects I'm working on. And then on the top shelf we have some projects I've done and just some random things up there that are chilling. And then we have my stereo on the end because I love to listen to music while I craft. Right next to my desk is a little printer stand and it holds my printer and it also holds underneath it some baskets that have my new style punches in it and paper and some other fun things that I use a lot. And on the other side of that printer stand I have my paper racks. And on the bottom of my paper racks, I have, uh, on this one, I have some plastic, plastic bags that hold some cardstock, and then I have, uh, 12 by 12 paper marked in little holders, and then I also keep my powder pal trays there. But I have those, and then on top of those, I have some paperwork, extra paperwork supplies, and my external hard drive where I store my videos, some totes and other things, have my uh, clipboard so I can stay organized, and that's that side of the room, and there's the door. If you were standing over by my desk, this is what you would see. You would see my table where people who come to do my classes sit and we have fun. I have a closet, and inside that closet holds my crocheting and my quilting stuff. Have some bookshelves with some things and we'll get into detail with that in a little bit. On my back wall you see some of my current projects. This is how I like to display them. Most of them have videos so I'm not going to spend too much time on those. Then there's a tub back there. But over here, all the bookshelves, we have lots of fun things. Those containers right there hold my Big Shot dies. And then underneath there I have cards, extra supplies, and random stuff. The bags have just some catalogs, some current projects I'm working on, and then uh, bag that has stuff that I use just for whenever I do craft shows. On this bookshelf we just have some decorative things. This is just a wheelbarrow that I thought was adorable and it holds some file folder mini albums I've done and then that brown album is an album I made that holds sample 6x6 six six scrapbook pages. There's another little sneak peek for you. It's going to be a project I'll show you later. It's a little mini album itself. And in that basket behind it, it holds uh, my 
embossing folders and plates. The next shelf holds some stamp sets, and those are all the Hostess stamp sets that I have. My Big Bite, my Marvelous Markers, some more paperwork and old catalogs, and then new catalogs. Second shelf in that basket there is stuff for a spot project I'm going to be working on later. I have my Stampin' Up! ink refills in a container. My club girls have uh, baggies with stuff in it that stay here, and that's what's in the red thing. I have my Circle Scissor Plus and my glass mat in that little cardboard holder. Underneath that I have old projects in the blue and green basket and some retired stuff on top of it and manila file folders. I have packing envelopes in between there and then in that basket is mainly crocheting and quilting books. On the next bookshelf, we'll go ahead and start at the bottom. There's my Cricut Expression, and in the basket is the cartridges and stuff for that, along with um, the Cricut uh, toolkit. Next shelf, I have lots and lots of stamps there in that basket. And then in my wire hanging baskets, the bottom one is just filled with ink pads, and the next one is filled with wheels and handles and some cleaner. Top shelf is only, <laughs> only stamp sets. And on top of that, we have my DVD racks and they hold the clear mount stamps. The ones with the blue dots are all retired stamp sets, at least retired in clear mount. And then we get over here, I have a candle because I love candles, and then my color coach, Stampin' Success magazines, Hostess postcards, and then there's random trinkets in the purple basket. And then in this little basket there are all of my sponge daubers, new ones, and then all my old ones are in there too. So that way I can keep using the same one. And the green one, I have packing tape and other tape that I use a lot. And my big blue basket, I have only embellishments, brads, buttons, stuff like that. Then turning over here to the three drawer thing is, uh, well on top of it I have envelopes, lots of stuff for my classes, lots of rulers, scissors. I have, um, Extra snail, sticky strip, dimensionals, bags, anything, you name it. Um, in the top drawer, I have all of my extra order forms and my embossing powders and glitter and stuff right there. Fun, fun. In the next drawer, I have only retired stamp sets, really retired ones that I can't get rid of because I don't want to. And the bottom drawer is just junk, random stuff that doesn't have a home. But that is my craft room. And this is where I make my videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. And it's only a temporary, so I'm sure there's going to be another video up sometime of a different room. But this is what I have right now. That's all I have for you guys today, and thanks for watching. Bye.